Lee, on the journey through Droop and Ryan, we've seen some fantastic machines that you're working on the gantry side, but tell us a little bit more about the makeup of Droop and Ryan. Well, just to capture Droop and Ryan, we specifically manufacture uh, gantry machines here, Mark. So we have for very large machines a gantry that moves over the top of a component. We then have a range of machines where the component moves under the gantry, and then we've got the overhead gantry system, which we developed ourselves back in the 70s. And when you're looking at the type of machines that you're actually making, um, what configuration can you offer? That's a great question. We, we look at the customer's component first. So that customer's component may require some turning, it may require a lot of milling, drilling, so, some other machined features over the top, around the side, even underneath. So we could have a machine, for example, with a turning table and a floor plate and a tilt table and three work areas just in a single machine, or we can have a machine just with a single table. It really depends on what the customer requires uh, and, and, and the, the complexity of the component as to the head configuration to reach the different features. So in, in the part of the factory that you're making your spindles and your heads, is this a distinct advantage to, against your competitors effectively? Well, it's one, of, it's one of the unique selling points of Droop and Rhyme because most of our competitors buy in the heads from suppliers who may not even be there in five years' time. So we design the heads around the specific components. We've got 300 standard heads we can build from today. If you came with a, with a feature we couldn't machine, we just build, design and build another one. We assemble them here, we refurbish them here, we service them here. So if you've got a 20-year 20, 20 program, um, you know that you can rely on us to, to, to service that program for, it, for, for, the, for the life of it. And when you're making spindles and head, I, I presume that depends on the product that the, uh, the, the guys are making or the end product, for instance, but also you're talking about the material and the sector as well. Well, absolutely. So depending on the material, depends on the kind of cutting process that you need, the application, uh, the access to the, to the components. So um, every, every head's designed for a specific job, whether it be geared, whether it be direct motor, uh, spindle head, you know, like I say, we're, we're, we're bespoke, but we try and build from what we've already established and, and got in the portfolio today. Well, I suppose when you look at the background of over 100 years of manufacturing, your 2009 investment in the uh, new facilities here, but this spindle side and the head side is obviously very unique to you guys, isn't it? it, it, it it's a winning combination, and like I say, we have a lot of customers globally and we're involved in a lot of markets globally and we're very well known globally. So the fact we've been going from 1890 and we've built and built and built to the portfolio of, of uh, technologies today, I, th I think sort of speaks for itself. Well, I think uh, a lot of engineers in the UK probably haven't seen the size of the machines that we've seen on the journey. And obviously, we really thank you very much uh, uh, to Starag for showing us the Droop and Rhine factory. Thank you very much, Mark. You know, you're welcome to come back any time.